uh, at this location here in the shopping mall, I wanted to show you real quick. This is a perfect audio chain. Uh, we've got the uh, modem that's feeding this uh, router. It's a wireless modem, so there's no hard, we don't have to pay for extra lines here. The modem, uh, of course, this uh, barracks Xtreamer 100 is plugged into. So inside here, it's actually calling for the IP address back at the studio, and it changes that MP3 into audio feed. The audio pumps right into to this uh, barracks Autocom uh, Dynamics processor, model 1600. You can get these off of eBay. I've paid as low as $40 for a good one. And then from the compressor limiter gain uh, gate, we're feeding the Innovonics 222. Again, we don't have a lot of light here, unfortunately. It's kind of hard to see. I'll, we'll make another video later. But uh, what I'm doing is I've got a little bit of compression going on. I've already, at the studio end, I can do a little bit of compression there. But we want to match the input and the output signal. And uh, I usually turn up the output signal. This is the output. This is the actual uh, limiting threshold. And this is the ratio. So when you get real high peaks, the ratio will clean up the signal a little bit. I set the compression generally so I get about 4 uh, dB average of uh, gain reduction. So what we're doing, we want to have enough output to excite this peak limiter. When this uh, Innovonics has a tool inside uh, processor, which when it's limiting, the preemphasis kicks in and that's what gives you those positive peaks and not so negative uh, on the negative side peaks uh, which fills that RF envelope, the AM envelope and it's worth a quarter mile because you're using more of the energy it makes the transmitter more efficient when you've got the envelope full of the audio and, and those FCC certified transmitters the range master is designed for more than 100% modulation. That's an old AM trick and it works great with this system. So it makes it real loud. Here's the... It makes it a real hot and loud audio signal so you can get to where you need to reach. Uh, I always keep the peak limiter down on the when I have the 222 in line because I'm letting this do the limiting. See, I can eliminate that. See, I, I just... I traded the limiting from here to here. See the red lights on now? There you go. So most of the limiting is happening here. Very little. But you don't need that if you have it set up just right. If you're getting too much modulation out of here, there's an output control. Uh, you can bring that down. You can bring your input down just a little bit. I prefer to use the output control. I leave the input up all the way. And then I set this to where it's around positive 3 all the time. Uh, so that's just a quick overview, these two working together. There's plenty of documents on this, uh, this 222, so you can fully, anybody can fully understand this uh, setup. But uh, this is how it works, and it does a great job. By the way, today we're, we've got uh, the new Animal Farm show on. Uh, comes on after Jack Blood, uh, that new uh, Freedom Underground Radio Network. So we also offer a mix of programs. You know, of course, Alex Jones show, usually twice a day. Uh, Mike Rivera, uh, Alan Watt at seven o'clock, uh, all the other ones. So uh, you get this set up, you can you can pull right from our feed, and you're ready to go. Give us a call if you got any questions at uh, trutham.com.